happy buckaroo here. So the wife is happy now. I mowed her front lawn finally after a year. You guys probably don't know this, but I belong to a classic farm equipment club. And once a year we meet to feed old buckaroo here. I finished finally mowing my uh, wife's front lawn here, so uh, feed old buckaroo here. So I finally finished mowing our front lawn. It just took me a year. Not a big deal, I know. But you guys probably don't know this, but I belong to a classic uh, farm equipment club, and we meet basically once a year for a big get together where we can uh, you know play with our old toys and t this year we're doing an old-fashioned uh, wheat harvest a uh, farmer left his wheat harvest for us to harvest uh, a couple a couple of the club members have some real old John Deere's and a uh, Massey I think in a case but we're gonna get together and we're gonna do a good old-fashioned wheat harvest let's get to it Oh, Jim's here. Wonder what Jim's going. I have not seen him drive this truck in a long time. Hey Jim, I'm right here. Where are you going? Wow. That was bad news. So basically, Jim came and told me I've heard a rumor, and I was a little bit, I didn't really believe it, but Jim kind of got some more intel on it. A government, a, or a, a government employee came and talked to him, so there's a rumor going around. I guess it's not really a rumor still, but it's kind of a rumor that they plan on uh, building a major interstate through this area. That interstate is going to go through both mine and Jim's farmland. And it is basically going to go right over this whole farmyard. So they're basically moving a major interstate. They're making a shortcut. And the bad thing about that is if they want to... Uh, purchase the land and everything, I really don't have much to stand on. So it's a little bit scary because they do, there is laws and everything where if it ends up going to happen, they're going to basically put a major interstate through our beautiful, basically valley or land piece here. It's scary. I don't know, but Hopefully it doesn't come to tuition, but uh, wow, that happens. That happens, uh, I don't know what to do. I mean, I had a good day planned. I was looking forward to this day almost all year long, get to play with some old machinery, and then uh, now this is put on my plate. But oh well, I mean, there's not a lot we could do about this, so have this uh my personal belief is don't worry about the stuff you can't control but that is huge i don't know i mean i'm really worried we might have to pick up shop and move to another area i mean the good thing is is they're gonna pay us a good price for land all right but it's a little discouraging. Alright, that's enough with all the sad talk. Let's get back to business. So, I need to figure out which old uh, tractors I'm going to take. And, got a little surprise for y'all. A little short supply surprise. A little surprise. And I'm thinking, you know, our new... Uh, new to us I should say truck over here our GMC with the uh, Bradford built bed on there I think this is just um, this would be a perfect truck to bring to this type of event not really I mean it's sort of classic but not fully 
So I think this would be a good uh, little addition to this. Uh, and, you know, I, I've already drove it across. It's raced. I mean, th I got to reward this truck because it basically ditched Jim's Vandal. It, it did that whole thing. So, so I want to get the... I want to get the basically gooseneck. I don't. I wish I had a covered trailer that I could use, but uh, Jim, you know, I didn't really want to ask him when he was upset. So I'm just gonna use my uh, gooseneck here. All right, got that all hitched up. Good to go. Oh man, I got so close to the cement wall, I could barely open my door wide enough here. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna get this out in the flat land, and then we're gonna have to decide what we're going to bring. I guess I could have brought my Ford, but you know, that would be another good classic truck to bring, but this isn't really classic truck. This is more uh, classic uh, farm equipment type show. All right, so of course we're gonna take our new Super M. I mean, why not? I think this would be nice to pull. So I think this would be nice to pull like a little wagon or something. I mean, we're probably not gonna hold, fill up the wagons completely full because these old things, you know, they don't have that much horsepower, but I'm sure they could get it done if we needed it to because these things have a lot of old horsepower, let's just say. This thing always starts right up. Start to think, I mean, this thing definitely got some age to it. Yeah, this thing is probably even older than Jim is. So this thing is a pretty nice addition to the farm. Put this right up here. Well, we're going to take a few it, just because I don't have an old harvester. So, like, uh, all I have is this John Deere. So this is the only harvester I have. It's 9650, and it's not really what I consider old. You know, it's older than the brand new ones. Let's see. Do we want to take the 620? I'll, I'll hold my surprise till later. Uh, and then we have these. I mean, they would be nice, but they're not. I mean, I guess the 4020 is a classic. And the 806. I mean, the uh, 880 uh, series John Deere. I think that would probably be a good classic tractor so we're gonna have to move these out of the way so we can get it out if we want to take that one uh, we got the McCormick Deering here I mean that would be nice but to be honest it, it's not really running the best so uh, also we got this uh, our uh, bucking horse here our Massey Harris but I've shown that a lot of love I mean I, I almost drive that daily so I don't I mean, I guess it's... I don't really want to drive that because I'd get to drive it so much, so... Hmm. So we got a Farmo. I think... Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the 80 series. You know, you guys might have another favorite, but I kind of like this old thing. I think it'd look nice pulling an old wagon or something. Somebody will enjoy driving this. And that's the best thing about this meeting, is we all get to drive each other's old equipment. We just drive it around, have some fun with it. Uh, gonna move these two loader tractors they have parked in the way here. Good old 4020. Another one of my favorites, primarily just because of the sound. Ooh, this thing is not going to be the easiest to get out. So, yeah, I got him. Yep. Nope. 
ever watch that? It's kind of old, but you ever watch that movie Austin Powers when he's turning around that uh, his little golf cart or whatever in the hallway? Yeah, that's what I feel like sometimes in this building. Back and forth. Move that down. All right, got that there. All right, hopefully this thing starts. All right, yep, this thing's running good. Gotta top this thing off here quickly. I mean, look at that exhaust. It kind of does a putt putt even with the exhaust up there. If you watch it closely. I guess at first it does. Fill this thing up. Where's that cap at? Oh, right there. And they put that fuel like right next to each other. I haven't drove this so long. It's kind of nice because this has two remotes on it. You don't see that a lot with the older tractors. So I got, uh, I got a McCormick Farm Owl, and I got an old diesel John Deere 80 series. All right. So you guys are probably wondering what uh, basically year frame this is in, and I, I guess it's like all, it's basically all opinions of old. So there isn't no real age or uh, year difference between it. And so it kind of. That way we can get more uh, people in the club. Otherwise, you know, it'd only be all the old folks in there. So this way, the club, I mean, basically, a, there's a lot of difference. So I don't think it could be newer than uh, 80, 1980, but I might be wrong. So as long as it's older than that, but a lot of the old tractors are way older. And so my surprise is... I got the Model A running. Well, at least I hope. We're gonna, you guys, this might be embarrassing when it doesn't run, but all right, we're gonna, we're gonna try. So don't let me down, Model A. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, there we go. It's running. So I don't know if we're gonna find a use for this other than uh, looking cool, but I'm sure a lot of people will enjoy driving an old Model A, old tricycle. Now this thing is not the easiest to get on a trailer, that's for sure. So it took me a while getting this whole thing running, but I'm pretty glad I got it running. You know, I don't think one thing that I would l really like is an old, like, grain mill or shelling uh, a machine, which would be nice, but I don't think no one in the club owns one. Alright, so, alright, now, so I'll chain all these down. So I think we got a pretty nice crew here. Alright, so I'm gonna get my lunch and everything. Give some bucks some loving, and then give my wife some loving, and then uh, start heading out. All right, so we're headed out here. Speaking about classic, man, I I just see this person everywhere. Oh, she is lost or what? seen her a few places all right got all of them strapped down we are headed out probably going to have to oh man is she all right she's like all over the road you ever I, I just found this out I mean I didn't know this but uh this you can hear that that this truck's kind of cool. Got a nice horn to it. 
All right, give me some room. Come on. There is like no want whatsoever for me to pass her. Here we go. This, this is probably dangerous here. All right. We did our mission. We passed her. Oh, whoa, whoa. That was a, almost a close call there. Oh, even... I didn't even get to see what type of tractor that was. All right, so uh, we will start heading down the road here. See you in a bit. So we are driving in this beautiful state of Wisconsin. So I... I've been here in the past, I just don't... This looks extremely familiar. Yeah, I, th I think I know these farmers that, that live around here. Pretty sure... There is a, uh, a family business here, I know. That's the parents. Yeah. Son lives over the here. There's another two sons that live over here. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I've, I've heard about these guys. Yep, see? They put the old tractor signs out for us here. Pretty sure I'm going in the right direction. And like always, I'm late. I know. I'm late. Oh, yep, yep, yep. I, I see them up there. So there's the whole crew up there. So it's kind of odd, you know. They still have corn growing here it's late into the fall but it's really odd they have wheat but they ended up saving this wheat for us to uh, do this little harvest time all right nice and carefully looks like all the trailers and everything are parked over here yeah here we go so uh, We'll get all these old uh, tractors hooked up. So it looks like one of the guys, they brought these old wagons for us. The little Kill Bros. Kill Brothers Company. Hmm, nice old wagons. Obviously, if we end up pulling it with our uh, Model A, uh, might be a little hard for it. But I think the... Super M and the 80 series might be able to handle the wagons. I, I thought, I, I think I'm just going to bring the Model A out there just to, you know, just show everybody, but I don't know if, how much uh, work we'll actually do with it. Ooh, look at this. It's a little uh, Massey Ferguson. Man. Yeah, you don't really see a lot of them, so that thing looks a little small for that trailer. Just a tad. An old uh, Alice Chalmers year-round cab on there. That 180. 180, yep. Pulling a DMI trailer. A 4320, so you don't see a lot of them. So a little bit newer of a tractor. This and that Alice Chalmers are a little bit newer. Another DMI trailer. Ooh. This is a John Deere 55. Oh man, look at this old John Deere. Got an old drape or an old auger head on it, of course. Man, that head just looks huge for this old uh, John Deere. I mean, this thing, now that, you don't see a lot of them running. That That's going to be a little fun. Man, that that's going to be fun driving that thing. Uh, 1440, a little old 1440. International. Somebody I knew in a, uh, where was it? Iowa drove one similar to this, a 1480, I believe it was. But he found that in a basically, he found that basically in a tree grove. That's kind of cool how he found that. But that that's cool. I mean, it's obviously way newer. I mean, this could be the dad of the John Deere 55. You know, this would be 
Ooh, Massey Ferguson. So I think about these are about the same age. Not for sure, but I'm sure they're about the same age. Massey Ferguson might be a little bit newer. Doesn't have a cap. What? What do we... Oh. Uh, 720 twerp. Uh, 720 twark. All right, 720 trike. Man, I can't even say that word. Trike. And uh, I don't even know what this is. No pull type. Looks like somebody obviously put some new tires on it. New standing uh, bay or area here. I mean, it's kind of nice. I mean, it's it's has this old heritage. I don't know this. Might be kind of, might not be as old as the John Deere 55 series, but uh, obviously it's pretty old if it's a pull type. But uh, you can tell some of the things are definitely updated on it. Probably really hard to unload this thing. <gasps> There's another John Deere 55. This looks like a little bit smaller of an auger head on the front. Yeah, that head looks about the size it should handle. I mean, they even worried about safety on this John Deere 55. They put a beacon on top. They put wide blinkers. Somebody's serious about safety because that obviously did not come with that type. I don't think so. But, I mean, look at the back. It has the blinkers, too. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they didn't come with them, that stuff on there. But maybe they did. So, I don't know where everyone's at, but I am going to get a couple of these old tractors hooked up on wagons. And I think we're all going to get started here, going around the field. Alright, got that old uh, Kill Brothers wagon started here. I'm just going to pull this right over here. Old Model A. I really wish I could use that Model A, but I mean, maybe after a while, but uh, I think it's a little bit too much pulling that big wagon. So we got this old uh, Super M hooked up, so don't think we're going to be filling these wagons all the way up, maybe. I'll leave this uh, park right here for now. Really wish we could have something for this Model A to pull. Would be nice just to have it, just for nostalgia. Ooh, somebody else? I mean, I am finally wasn't the last person. Ooh, what do we have here? You know, I don't know. Doesn't That wagon don't look old or anything, but uh, it's like the Model A should pull that. Let's see if this old Model A will start for one last time. Start. Let's see if this thing will start one last time. It's trying. Really got to let it go for a while. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, don't know if this wagon's really American or not. It's not really that old, but I guess it is kind of. It is easy to hook up because you can pull it or push it around, kind of. All right. Now we can start getting the crew set up here. So we are running here. We got all the harvesters running. They're kind of running a little slow. I don't know which one I really want to run here. Uh, looks like we got the old 55 series. Uh, we got this old pole type. I'm not for sure what to call this, but uh, I don't know why it's making a swath. They're all running nice and slow, so they're all getting in sync. So this old 55 series in front here can't really run. They're all running here, so nice and slow. Old 1440. Old uh, Alice Chalmers, they all look kind of out of place. What's going on here? Got the 1440, of course, running. This thing is actually doing fairly good. I mean, there's a lot of grain going through that old 55 right there. Really surprised that big, or this old thing can handle that big of a head. It's running. We got this 1440 running. We got the birds flying in the sky. We got the 
Alice Traumers trying to unload. 55 must be having a hard time with that uh, the auger or something. Got this old pole type. Don't really know if this is old, but it, I mean, it, it's nostalgic looking. Because they're definitely old, old pole type uh, harvesters. Got, looks like this Massey Ferguson is full here. Finally. I'm gonna take this old, uh, my, uh, M here and, uh, see if it, I can unload them here quickly. Run down here. Oh, man, that, that old 55, even the flashers work on it. That's kind of cool. Wouldn't think that they would, uh, wire that to that. Usually these old harvesters don't have that type of technology, but they best... Must have put it in there. It's like the old pole types have a little bit of hard time. I'm gonna run down here quickly. Get this old massy. So we're gonna run over some crops. Close your eyes. I'm just gonna run over a little bit here. We're not really worried. So the club dues and a lot of it paid for this crop so we can all do this. So not too much of the farmer. Everything he makes off of this is going to be a bonus. Fill this old uh, gravity wagon up here. My Model A there is still running. Probably should just keep that thing running. So I think I'm going to start over here. Down. Thing must not have a spreader on it. Doesn't get to... Uh, spread crops maybe all right got their old controls right there mm, think i could figure this out Let's see okay we'll start in it's like somebody needs to unload the massey there we go. Going now. Not too bad. When it's the wind is blowing and it's not too dusty, this is kind of nice to drive. But if the dust is in your face, oh man, hate to have this experience. That would be kind of bad. It's kind of nice doing this. I mean, we got so many harvesters running here; it doesn't hardly take any time whatsoever. I mean, really, you just reach back there and you can feel your grain and everything. Feel how uh, it's obviously moist because this grain was kept in the field way too long. Got that other 55 series going there on the other side. We're going to pass this old pull type here. Poor old pull type. He's barely making it. Only thing bad about this is uh, it really can only uh, dump into the low wagon. Basically, these old combine or harvesters or don't have a very high unloading auger. We're sitting way above it, actually. But good thing this uh, one of the old farts brought this old wagon here, so it works nicely dumping with these uh, 55. And it looks kind of nice on the back of that old uh, Model A. Oh, where are we at here? There we go. Unload here. So this thing holds maybe like 55 bushel or something like that. So really tiny. So it doesn't hold much. Just... Uh, you're not going to get through the acres, but it is fun to drive, especially uh, when you're in a classic club like this and get to see the other uh, harvesters at work. Yeah, you know, we could dump in that old little tiny wagon probably like, you know, I don't know, probably ten times. 
Maybe. Probably less than that. If it's 55, so maybe five times. Little uh, 40 series run in there. You still waiting for somebody to unload you? Sorry. I got the opportunity to drive a 55 series uh, harvester here. I'm not going to go unload you. Sorry. Take one of the person's uh, spectators back there by the trucks to go unload you. Alright, start this old thing up here. The head really is just gravity uh, basically lowered. So it takes a while to lower there. pick up that reel a little bit. It's bothering me. I mean a little bit more. There we go. It's like that. 55 series might need to be unloaded too. Could just go and drive to them. I mean you don't have to wait. Jeez. This thing running. Wouldn't mind trying to pull that pull type there. Maybe I'll 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 swap. I'll let this person. He must be in the field over there pissing or something like that. But uh, I think I'll let him drive this 55 series, and I'll drive that uh, old pull type a little bit. Okay, now turn on the PTO. Whoa. Probably should have idled it down a little bit before that. There we go. Go here. Man, this is kind of fun. Never pulled a pull type harvester before. I am doing a horrible job, so please don't don't hold this against me. Definitely unique. Oh, 55 series sure doesn't hold a lot, man. I am running over crops. I am doing a horrible job, leaving a uh, gap there. Probably going to have to uh, go to the other end and then start unloading because it doesn't look like no one wants to unload these poor people. But I'll probably get to drive one of the tractors so it won't be that bad. This is kind of fun. Definitely never drove type harvester before. And we'll unload the Massey here. We can take off. Nice little open uh, cab Massey. I'm pretty sure I've already drove that in the past. I think a prior club meeting we uh, had that one out. There we go. Now she can come out. It's always nice that the females get to partake in this club too. Oh yeah, that uh, 55 series won't be able to unload in this. I'm gonna have to uh, scoot over and uh, grab that Model A. Yeah, run over here, get the Model A. There we go. Starting to get a fairly big uh, grain trailer full. I guess this would be like a grain wagon. So we do have a, a couple more gravity wagons there to fill up. Like you saw, we filled up the uh, Super M already. Alright. Unloaded that 55. Looks like it's taken off. Yeah, we are 
blowing a lot of black smoke. Man, it's Model A, man. I'm surprised it still has this much horsepower. Maybe, I guess... All right. You guys, close your eye. I'm gonna jump across this grain here. Remember, I, I have I have a Model A. I can't, can't just be going down these fields. I have a lot of harvesters to keep up with here. All right. Unloaded her. Let's get out of the grain here. I know we're not very uh, good nostalgic drivers. I don't know if these harvesters are having problems here. Is that why they're shut down? It is pretty cool to have, see all this running in the field here. Even got that old pole type running again. So, looks like I'm gonna have to figure out how to unload these 55 series. But, looks like the Massey and the old uh, Case, the newer, tr the newer harvesters, got most of it done over here. If you enjoy this type of video, please uh, like and subscribe. It does this channel great. So I like doing this old type of machinery, but it, you know, it takes a lot to get all this stuff put together. And sometimes it doesn't all work just great together. But if you like this type of video, just let me know and I can do some more of it. I always like, I always like the farming videos, so I try to stick with them mostly. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Wisconsin. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.